1,500 miles away in Beijing, Professor Li Jing is teaching his students about a Sino-German project using remote sensing to identify coal fires. When coal burns underground, the temperature rises on the surface. By using remote sensing imagery, especially thermal infrared technology, which is very sensitive to temperature, we can clearly locate the rising heat and quickly identify the fire area. He's finding that the fires are spreading. In the Wuda coal field in Inner Mongolia, miners scrape the soil to expose a seam. A few meters below, where they've already extracted coal, fires burn unimpeded. So lucrative is coal, and China's demand so great that local authorities often turn a blind eye to illegal or slipshod mines. The situation has worsened in the last few decades. In the 50s and 60s, coal mines were owned and operated by the state. Safety and fire prevention were a big part of a strict management regime, and there weren't many coal fires. But in the last few decades, many private mine businesses appeared, which ignore safety and fire prevention. As a result, we see fires everywhere now. In Xinjiang, the firefighters have made a DVD about the biggest fire, Yue Hango, which they extinguished three years ago. It used to burn up nearly two million tons of coal a year, a huge waste of natural resources, as well as a source of pollution. Now the land's recovering, vegetation's growing back. There's even a monument to thank the firefighters. But a few hundred yards away, we found this, fire burning once again. Here's the reason, tire tracks, and the telltale signs that small-scale miners have come, probably at night, to extract coal. They failed to replace the soil properly, and the fires restarted. Better policing is needed, and more money. Once we detect coal fires, we need a lot of money to put them out. Private companies only think about profits. Only the state and the Xinjiang government have been putting funds into our work. It's taxpayers' money. Another coal-fired power station. Another few tons of climate-changing gas. In Bali, China will come under more pressure to reduce its dependence on coal. Small, inefficient mines proliferate, despite the government's promise to close them down. To help meet its own target of reducing carbon emissions by 20% over three years, the Chinese government plans to extinguish more coal fires. But if they fail to control the way coal is mined, the efforts of the firefighters will be in vain.